Hello guys and welcome back to Between the Ropes TV. Now, this is my reaction to uh, KSI versus Pineda. Now, I spoke a lot about respecting KSI for having two fights in one night. Uh, and I made the horrific mistake on our reaction to his win over Swarms earlier uh, in saying that I'm sure Pineda will give him a, a test. He's Mexican. Mexicans are known for being tough, uh, but True Geordie hit the nail on the head. We found the world's first not tough Mexican. That was pathetic. Genuinely, Pineda, from the outset, every time KSI landed, he was claiming around the back of the head to the point that I think it was in the second round. KSI actually knocked him down with an uppercut and he claimed it was around the back of the head. It was pathetic. He he looked scared. I actually tweeted about it, saying he looked like he was bricking it before the fight when KSI was doing his ring walk. Uh, and the performance certainly showed that. It was it genuinely Swarms put in a better and braver performance earlier in the night. And that fight has took an absolute slagging off on social media. And rightly so. You know, I know what DeZone are trying to do. But, you know, let's not forget and not to go over old ground. DAZN came into the boxing marketplace saying pay-per-view is dead. We're here to bring special nights, you know, as part of a monthly subscription service. Now, I've got to be honest, while I'm not thrilled that they've introduced a pay-per-view service since, I understand why. To bring the super fights, fighters should be paid every last penny or cent that they can get. So for those mega fights, if we've got to pay, we've got to pay. I can live with that. However, to pay for that absolute shower of shit tonight, I'm not happy at all. It, I can't believe how bad that actually was. Um, and that's that's going to be harsh in the press to KSI because in fairness to him, I stand by everything I've said about him. He's trained. He's clearly put a lot of effort in. He's got himself in shape, you know, on the body transformation social media posts. And he did all he could. He came to fight tonight. I think, you know, the fight against Swarms was it was generally what you did. I expected personally after the weigh-in. Um, Swarms possibly showed a little bit more heart or bravery than I thought he would. But as I've just said, I thought Pineda would. Yeah, how can you call yourself a professional boxer and put in a performance like that? You know, I lost count of how many knockdowns. I think there were six, but there could have been seven. And, you know, he should have been stopped in the first round. At one point, True Geordie hit the nail on the head he was shaking his head to the referee and that referee would not let him quit. But that is offensive. That's been builders, you know, and I said it again in previous videos, KSI is fighting a professional boxer. Uh, and that's something that Jake Paul's took a bit of a slagging off for not doing. Well, we can't, we can't call Pineda a professional boxer. Uh, we interview boxers on this channel. Um, and I, I'm ashamed to say, you know, we can't help but be in awe of those sorts of people because we're fans. I'd not be in awe of Pineda. In fact, I'd go as far as to say, I'm not a hard man. I wouldn't know how to fight. But I'd be pretty confident I'd be able to beat Pineda. He was that bad. If you haven't seen it, I, I want to actually say, don't waste your time. It was shockingly shit. But it is what it is. I mean, people would have paid for it. I really, really hope to zone show the true numbers for that fight, pay-per-view sales. The O2 looked pretty full, to be honest. There was a few seats scattered about. But generally, you know, we've seen some shows recently that, you know, Matchroom have done some. Uh, and, you know, the top tier of the O2 has been cordoned off because they've obviously not sold the tickets. And fair play to KSI and the other influencers because, you know, they've obviously done some really serious ticket sales at the O2. But for that to be the main event, it's just poor. I mean, the rest of the card... It was entertaining for what it is. I stand by it. Was you were never going to get a boxing clinic, um, you know, slim in the chief support. I'll be honest, I don't know the guy, um, but against Faye's temper, he did get. A, it was a good stoppage win. So check that knockout out. To be fair, it's worth a watch. Post fight KSI, you know, we're all talking about the Jake Paul fight. And he didn't actually, even before the main event, they were interviewing Logan Paul, who obviously Jake Paul's brother, but KSI's friend and business partner. And he was building up the Jake Paul KSI fight. And KSI didn't mention him post fight. He mentioned Andrew Tate, which I'm sure we all like to see Andrew Tate shut up. Uh, who else did he mention? I did make it out. Yeah, Tommy Fury and obviously Slim Al Sabre, I think is his name, uh, who had fought on the Chief Support. 
uh, and a couple of other names, but didn't mention Jake Paul. I'd love to see him in with Tommy Fury. I stand by that. Uh, and I still class it as a 50-50 fight, to be fair. But I'm not happy. Tonight is a bad, bad, bad night for boxing. It's just, if that's the road we're heading down and that's classed as pay-per-view, because there's genuine, there's proper professional boxers, boxers that win titles, whether it be area, English, Commonwealth, British, you know, European, that don't get to be on pay-per-view shows at, sold out or nearly sold out over to arenas and you know this, this is the interesting bit now because they talk about youtube boxing brings these fresh eyes but me and ray have said it before do they stay and that's the test now because that would have brought a lot of eyes tonight social media has been crazy all night but do they stay you know we've got a great sky card next week headlined by liam smith do those boxers tune in for that uh, do those fans sorry tune in for that I don't think they do. I think it just drags the sport through the mud. Uh, and boxing historian, who's a regular commenter on our live streams and videos, I know he was fuming earlier. And I genuinely have watched that, thinking, give it the best of intentions. But shit, just absolute shocking. Um, guys, hit that like button and subscribe button if you actually are a boxing fan, because we do have a lot of great boxing content. And we do cover this sort of thing as well. But they've got to just do better. Join us on the next one, guys. We've got some good stuff next week uh, on some real boxing.